Marcella chanted Iza and Machiapi. One year through my week, Gemini, Lakota, Na Shahi, La Hemacha. Pahi Sinte Etaha, Minnesota. No, I went to good day, Dr. Joe Biden. Good afternoon, Mia Little Sky. G to Kawa Little Sky. Good afternoon, Taylor Sky. Way that Scott, I don't want I we need to continue our language to pass down to the younger generations after us. And I would like to thank you, Dr. Joe Biden, for having interest in our tribal nation. We are on the verge of losing our tribal languages, and I feel that our next generation would need to learn it before it is gone forever. Thank you. Portland, Oregon. Hello, friends. My name is Kyra Antone. My Indian name is Kyoho. I'm Cordelina Thon Altham, and I'm coming to you from Portland, Oregon. I wanted to encourage all Native individuals to continue learning their language at any age. You are never too old or too young. Um, your ancestors can hear you whenever you speak, even the slightest amount. I wanted to thank you for this space, and I hope that you continue to bring Native youth voices to the forefront. Be much. Our native languages are an extension of our identities and culture as native people. And when we preserve them and speak them proudly, we honor our ancestors. I'd like to thank First Lady Dr. Jill Biden for her recognition of and dedication to preserving Native languages all across the United States. Shana Bishat, Mado, and thank you. Ah, he sweet sweet apples and my mint gluten. Um, stin 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 oot. Lem lunch. Language is important and it connects me to my student. I'm proud to be indigenous. Hi, I'm Malia Mosley, a member of the St. Carlos Apache tribe. Thank you, Dr. Jill Biden, for all you've done for our educational system. It's important to preserve our tribal languages because it's a part of who we are and it cannot be lost. Ahia, thank you. Gojo Dolet, may you be blessed. I love that video. Thank you. As an English teacher, I've always believed that language is not just a collection of words. Language has the power to create, defining the shades of our joy and sorrow, dividing what matters from the mundane. It helps us tell the story of our culture and traditions, containing the wisdom of the world that only we know. It connects us to our faith, naming the divine and our relationship with it. It's a thread weaving through the past, present, and future the inheritance of our ancestors, and a gift we give to our children, the ability to speak our own truth in our own words is power. 
This year, I visited Navajo Nation, the Alaska Native Medical Center, and the Saginaw Chippewa Indian Tribe in Michigan. And at each visit, I had the chance to hear tribal members speak in their native languages. Despite the dwindling numbers of speakers in each place, they are fighting to keep this important part of their heritage alive. It was a beautiful reminder that the spirit of a people cannot be lost when there are those who are willing to hold it in their hearts, to fight for it with love, dedication, and strength. Our administration is investing millions in native language education to revitalize many of the languages that are in danger of being forgotten. But there is still a lot of work to do. And it's urgent, as many elders were lost in this pandemic, the very leaders who keep the heart of tribal culture alive. We must protect these languages and traditions now more than ever. So today, I'm proud to announce a new memorandum of agreement on native languages. It brings our entire government together to promote and support the instruction and preservation of Native American languages. We have an obligation to heal the wounds of our past and pave a new path for Native communities. And the president and his team are doing just that. To everyone who continues to learn, speak, and teach your native language, thank you for keeping the spirit of your people alive.